Well, hello everyone. Here you show you right here. I'll talk about applications right here, and you know we could also you know, even mention about you know talk about bills and uh, you know you see right here this is an example right here of uh, something something you know such as like what's called an application right here, but you know not really, but just uh, showing a, a few spots right here where you can actually put a signature and also that uh, there's uh, another. You know, there's wording such as as to where educational reasons that can be explained in further detail if the client you know, did have a profile and then you know something for an hiring team you know to be used to determine the person's eligibility for employment and you know not every application of course is promised but you know it must be true at all times so so most of the time you though know, that um when we think about an application you know that like everybody else would say too, that, that whenever you look at a lot of these job applications, that you would think that you would be able to get through them within about your know, five or ten minutes, and sometimes that there's going to be, uh, you know, certain sessions in there that's going to say that okay, are you, uh, yeah, are you a U.S. citizen, and also that uh, are you required to have a visa, and then you know other you know, other you know, questions that that is going to be on the applications, and so a lot of times. That whenever we think about an application, no, that it sure seems that way. That um, that yeah, you know, why is it that we would need to think about an application as like a, a source of information, such as as toward a yeah, well, like a sweepstakes. And uh, if we all know what a sweepstakes is, it's it's just another way of how to just to get some information, and you may or may not. You know, be accepted that you just to be able to receive services or anything that you're going to be applying for, and uh, that's why it sure seems that way. That uh, we're probably thinking too that uh, you know, yeah, that uh, you know, you can maybe even write the document yourself and still think that okay, you know, some things that you do understand and some things that you don't understand, and uh, that's why it sure seems that way. That whenever we think about an application, though. Um, that if you're tired of filling out applications, and maybe if you filled out maybe 50 applications within the, the six or seven weeks uh, period, then you're probably thinking too that uh, that you know whenever you do fill out an application, and some applications you know, do cost money, some applications that do take nearly 30 minutes of your time, some applications that you had to do an assessment for, and uh, so that's why everybody else would say too that. Uh, you know, whenever we think about an application most of the time, then why is it that for the most part that we see right here is that, you know, yeah, yeah but here's for Adobe Sign right here. And uh, so you see this right here, this option right here to where I can, uh, you know, sign electronically, right? But, you know, still, that uh, just understanding about the signature right here, but uh, still, that uh, that for the most part, that whenever it comes to job applications or any source of application, that you're filling out, and uh, let's just say that um, if this application was related to uh, a bill, or you know, like yeah, a credit card or something like that, and people we're probably thinking too that uh, that for the most part that um, whenever it comes to understanding about uh, you know paperwork, and um, so at the time you want to know too that first of all that if you've already read that document. And uh, you're likely thinking, too, that, you know, yeah, that, uh, you know, what does it usually mean uh, to read a document in its entirety? So whenever you, if you were to read a, a document uh, in, you know, this document right here could be like maybe a, you know, 250 word paragraph of just explaining about the details of the use and service. And then it could also be talking about what the rules and regulations or what's, you know, anything else it's going to be on an application, and a lot of times it sure seems that way. That uh, when we think about an application, no, that it's like, yeah, that you know, most of the time, whenever you do think about an application, you think that okay, you know, you filled it out already. So it's like, yeah, that, that the first thing that's going to come to somebody's mind is going to be as to where that I thought I filled this application out, you know, I already filled it out already. Why do I have to repeat the process? And um, so a lot of times that, the, yeah, that there are some applications that they say that, you know, they guarantee for the job. And some of them, they're going to say that, you know, yeah, well, if you are approved or denied, you know, the application. And uh, so that's what sure seems that way, that, uh, 
that if you practice a number of times with the understanding about what application status is and everything, and you're likely thinking too that, uh, that hey, that, that you know I've already filled out the application once, and and so that's why it sure seems that way that you know the first time you read it, but then after the second time. You, you're not going to bother to read that part of the application. You're just going to go ahead and go to the next part. And uh, so it's like, it sure seems that way. That when we think about applications, though, that it seems like to me, though, that, uh, that yeah, you know, whenever you do uh, recognize an application, that, that you might think that, you know, you don't have to read it in its entirety, maybe after the, the second or the third time that you felt it out. So it sure seems that way that... Uh, most of the time with most applications, though, that uh, after the first or second time that you fill out uh, a job application, though, it's like, do you think that maybe that you would be able to, do, does that really give anybody a reason to get through the process a little bit faster that after you fill it out the second time? Or, you know, a lot of applications, though, and it's possible that um, on that application, that uh, you had to change the hours available. You may have had to maybe make some corrections on that application. You know, you may have had to pick a, a different position for what you're applying for. You know, it could be a, a number of reasons to why that, uh, you know, whenever you're filling out an application that you had to go back in there the second time just to fill it out. But it sure seems that way that, that whenever you fill out the application the first time, though, that, yeah, you know, it completed online, and then also that any other source of verification purposes or anything like that. But it sure seems that way that um, that when we think about an application, though, that what information is really being uh, you know, gathered and collected based on, you know, for what the, the company needs are and what, the, what, what exactly that you're applying for. And so it sure seems that way that uh, what does it usually mean? Whenever you do get a call about a job opportunity, but then they're telling you most of the time, they're not telling you that we received your application. Most of the time, they came across your resume. So let's just say that if somebody were to think that, you know, yeah, well, I'm getting emails, you know, they're stating that uh, they, they were able to find my resume and then they want to, you know, they're asking to schedule an interview. So it's like, you know, whenever it comes to assessments and whenever it comes to interviews, though. So it's like, yeah, that there might be some jobs that might not even require you to fill out an application. But just knowing as to what, how your resume represents, you know, for that. Yeah, yeah. That, so it's, it sure seems that way that uh, you know, you want to ask that question to her that uh, the why is it that um, most companies would say that... Uh, that, yeah, well, you know, you don't even have to fill out an application. You know, what we ask for is that we ask for you to go ahead and schedule a time for an interview. And uh, so, yeah, you know, if you go to these interviews and let's just say that they're going to be asking you new questions there at the interview. So chances are that, you know, that that's usually how it is, is that the, you know, the chances of being hired are going to be equal to maybe an extra, you know, for 5% compared to the extra 2%. You know, like I say, that most of the time with most applications, that how, the, how many of them are reviewed and how many of them there are your chances toward it that they're going to be, uh, you're calling, you know, per candidate, you just for them to be called in for an interview. And uh, compared to, you know, whenever you do uh, get a call back about your resume, and uh, so it sure seems that way that um, the job market seems to go. Uh, in a lot of different ways, right? And at the time, it's not just keeping track of time. It's not just keeping track of uh, what uh, your interests are. But then also that uh, when we take up an application, though, that it's like, yeah, you know, those applications can be annoying a lot of times. But talking about right here, of uh, like your signature right here, and at this right here, right here was supposed to be an example right here of a job application right here. And it seems like to me that, the, yeah, that, um, so let's just say if this right here was supposed to be like a transcript to like a meeting or something like that, and uh, people say as to where you're supposed to place the, the signature at about, you know, yeah, at about right here and based on, like, you know, yeah, so if there's any source of signature that's going to be collected that, you know, from you based on, 
a meeting or based on an interview. And uh, like most of the time, you know, that uh, that signature, of course, is going to, you know, more likely that there's going to be a link. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be a link. That there's going to be an employer that's going to ask you to sign something. It's going to be, you know, yeah, just for security purposes that, you know, you would be uh, sent a URL link uh, like, you know, to your phone and it, it would open up a tab. And uh, another reason that, you know, another way of how to ex explain a tab, though, that uh, people might even say, too, that what do you mean by tab? Well, it's a, a tab. It's like a URL link to where it takes you directly to that uh, part of the application to where, like, yeah, a secure application. And, and yeah, that... Um, so a lot of things electronically, though, that um, we'll probably say, too, that, um, you know, uh, thinking about our phones and thinking about any, you know, our devices here. And uh, want to know, too, that, um, that whenever we think about an application, though, that uh, you, whenever you first start working on an application, though, most of the time it seems like that, uh, you know, you're used to actually doing the calculations on on the hours available of the week, you know, that you look at that at the work week, you know, Sunday through uh, Saturday, and uh, you're gonna you know, mark on there about what hours that you're available to work, and if you're available to work holidays, and if you're available to uh, you know, yeah to do any sorts of training that's required and such and such. But let's just say though that uh, for the most part, that, that with most applications though. To determine the person's uh, eligibility for employment, so that would probably be one of the first things that's going to be on the job application, is talking about that. Um, the yeah, that you know, you fill out, uh, you know, you send off um, information such as I'm like yeah, you know, your resume and also cover letter or like your work experience, and most of the time that that's usually what it is. It's a work experience, and uh, so it's like yeah, that when we think about an application, no. That it's like, yeah, that um, that it's like, you know, you fill out an application, but it seems like most of the time it don't do no you no good. That most of the time that they're going to say that, yeah, we decided to move forward with the process. And um, so it's like, um, so yeah, you know, you might say that you're not going to sign the document until it has been confirmed that you are... That you got the job, and that, like everybody else would say too, that um, that you know if you fill out a number of applications, that why can't you just send me a text indicating that I've been hired, you know, confirming that you've been hired instead of, you know, like yo, you get an email stating to where that we decide to move forward with the, the position, and uh, so it's like uh, everybody else might even say that uh, they're gonna go ahead and. And think that, you know, yeah, yo, you're going to get mad enough and say that I'm not signing anything until it's been confirmed that I got the job. And uh, so that's why it's like, yeah, you know, uh, a signature is not really, it's like, yeah, not, not really something really to play around with. Like anybody say to you that whenever you sign something, but you still, that um, I know with me, though, that, that, you know, understanding about digital software, though, but it sure seems that way that, um, that with most uh, job applications, though, that uh, the way we think about them is that, uh, you know, yeah, you know, whenever you do fill out an application, most of the time, that, uh, you know, you are actually, uh, are, uh, you are getting your information in the system. And um, most of the time, like with schools, though, and even with companies, that if you read the job descriptions a lot of times, like everybody else would say, that if you were to read the job descriptions on that uh, job ad and find out that maybe 80% of uh, what they're asking for is not detailed uh, on your resume, and at the time, people probably thinking too that, um, you know, most of the time that whenever you read the details about that job, and uh, you're like thinking too that, you know, you didn't go further with applying for a job just because of that reason, just because... That, uh, you know, you didn't think that you qualified and then, you know, you didn't think that uh, that they even wanted you to work anyhow. And uh, so a lot of times it sure seems that way that uh, the whole job process, it seems to be like, yeah, that, you know, ever since back in 1999, it seems like it's a lot different than what it is now. Just because of this, uh, you know, online stuff and just because of this digital technology and everything, but still that... Um, 
that uh, I guess the key fact to remember is just know is that yeah that uh, you know most employers would probably say too that you know uh, that uh, you know if you were to just walk into a walk into a company without turning in any source of application let's just say that if you tell them that you know well you know if you don't have access to a, a computer or something like that but still that uh, but let's just say though that uh, for the most part that uh, most applications though that uh, would ask you to complete an assessment the assessment is going to be uh, Related to questions and then uh, asking you about what you would do in case of this situation were to happen. You know, something like that. And uh, that's why it sure seems that way that um, when uh, we think about job applications, though, that, uh, you know, how many of us would maybe raise our hand and say that nearly 20% of the time that uh, they think that they are just a waste of time because it's not a guarantee, you know, to get the job. And, um, and that's why a lot of people would probably be pretty aggravated about that. That um, that whenever we're thinking about uh, an application, and uh, with that application that we're talking about, that uh, you know only so many times that you fill out an application, and want to know that you know you don't get a return. You know, you know people don't call you back, and on the other hand, that uh, you know if it's been you know ten days or so, and one oh two, the yes, the system sends you. A notification automatically stating to word that you know if you got if you were you know asked that you'd be called in for an interview or if you would not be called in for an interview. So it sure seems that way that uh, that most of the time with most job applications that uh, we could probably say too that you can write the job application yourself and still think that um, that you know uh, what the basic rules and uh, and. Uh, in regards to uh, what questions they're going to be asked for, but at the same time, though, it's like, you know, for what's equitable to word it, yeah, well, really, that uh, whenever you fill out a job application, you know, that uh, it sure seems that way, that, uh, you know, you may not have the proper training for this job, and uh, that employer would look at your background history as like another way of saying this to her, that why do you even want to come work for us in the first place? So it sure seems that way that uh, the situation sure seems that way to where if you wrote uh, the application yourself and signed it like that, and then you turn into the hiring manager, and then they're going to maybe say it's to where the, yeah, well, if you wrote the application yourself, then it's not acceptable. And so it sure seems that way that like everybody else would say it is to where that to how many times does that seem like the case to where if you were to write the application yourself and then go ahead and, you know, and turn into the employer? And uh, it's like, well, really, you wrote it yourself so that way you can uh, explain about it. It's to where the, yeah, there's one application example. And uh, for the most part that you actually uh, were to set like a document to where that most of the time, most applications though. Whenever you look at those applications, though, is that really supposed to give you an idea about what's being asked for, or is that really just kind of give you an idea about, you know, really, that uh, just a follow-up, I'm like, yeah, you know, an application can be explained in a lot of ways. It's not just about, okay, a job. You know, it's also, yeah, if you're trying to apply for, yeah, if it's, uh, you know, health insurance, if it's also... Uh, Maybe you know trying to apply, yeah, for a for a driver's license, and also um, you know just to be able to uh, work in the field, and also you know, any other source of you know any other source or reason that we would have that you want know, to we're for filling out an application, right? And so that's why it sure seems that way. That uh, you know, yeah, just to kind of make the long story short, that I went and wrote down a few notes right here, and I just went ahead and. Putting you know the details right here and like yeah use the copy and paste tool right here and so like anybody say too that uh, you know it's not really recommended to use the copy and paste unless if you're you know, if you're trying to fill out uh, certain areas of the application which I know that most of those applications would not allow you to use certain tools and techniques uh, whenever it comes to to the autofill and like uh, what I'm talking about is that. Uh, yeah, if there's a part of the application where they're going to ask you to word it, I'm like, yeah, you know, uh, 
you know, background checks or like your know, traffic violations or anything like that. You know, yeah, have you ever had your license revoked or anything? You know, so those sorts of questions. But a lot of times it sure seems that way that um, that when we think about a job application, though, that it's like, uh, you know, reading a lot of those job applications, though, that, uh, you know, what's the one thing that really comes to your mind when you look at an application? And, um, you know, like I think it's toward that all I'm really applying for, of course, is just a part-time job you know, something to where I can you know, make a decent amount of training and maybe I could be introduced to the team. So if people would probably say too that if, if you're just doing it for that reason at all, it sure seems that way that, you know, yeah, you know, why is it that there cannot be just one application separate for the part-time or just for the six weeks of work on progress, you know, maybe one for the full staff in progress, you know, why is it that there just cannot be uh, one application you know, separate it from the others. And uh, so it sure seems that way that um, in order to be able to get to the whole process a lot quicker, and like everybody else would probably say too, that if you were to place, if you were to import uh, a resume onto your application, some of that information would automatically be imported. And uh, so it's like, uh, yeah. So, like everybody else would say too, that you know exactly how does that work. Well, I can't really explain that here, but you know, still, that uh, when you top up for the Dropbox is how that works. But uh, but right here is, is is actually right here is a document just to you know, explain about most of the time most applications are uh, you know actually uh, based on information based on educational reasons that can be explained in further detail. So let's just say that uh, with a, you know an application that there's going to be a, a certain session on there to where that uh, you were to fill that out if you were to be applying for the yeah for what position that you're applying for and then any you know any information about your education the highest education that you've completed and also the work hours available and then also. Uh, you know, it could also be a bot is as to where, yeah, the previous job, you know, you know, background, you know, like, yeah, background information, but, but still, that, um, when we think about an application, though, that, uh, why is it that it seems like that, um, that, uh, you know, yeah, it's not guaranteed for the job, and, uh, so it's like, yeah, you fill out an application, no, and, uh, why is it that most applications, Cannot be filled out after the interview. And half the time you want to know too. That you know, unless that person gets to know you more and wants to hire you right there. Then why is it that most applications cannot be completed after the interview? How come the interview cannot be scheduled first? And I know a lot of companies would really recommend to go ahead and complete the interview first. And then go ahead and start your application. So it sure seems that way that, um, that yeah, you know, if you're going to be applying for a job, that uh, they'll encourage anybody to work, that uh, go ahead and try to schedule an interview first, and then go ahead and fill out the application. So it's like, yeah, you know, there are some applications that they'll say is toward the, yeah, well, you know, they don't have your resume, you, they don't, you know, your information is not in the system until you fill out that application, of course. But most of the time, it seems like that mainly applies for, like, if you're doing a job training. And also that uh, if you're trying to, uh, yeah, if you're trying to apply for benefits. And also if you're trying to, you know, uh, you know, if you're trying to apply for a license or anything like that. So a lot of times that whenever we think about an application, you know, that, uh, you know, we're also talking about, um, yeah, maybe up to, there, there may not even be that many, you know, but still, let's just say that on average, that there's about maybe 52, uh, you know, work and processes as to where the applications that could be explained in a lot of ways. And one of those ways is going to be is as to where that, that part where I ask you for, for a signature, you know, for authorization to where that whenever you do a, uh, apply for a job that um, that there's a part on there toward it uh, stating toward everything you know that you explained on this employment is true with the best of your knowledge 
So, you know, yeah, that uh, the part of the application right here talks about this toward that uh, for an I application that is, uh, you know, yeah, for that is promised for the job. So if we were to say right here, i uh, talking about is that um, with like any source of application, though, and if you were to say right here, is that, uh, yeah, you know, for, for all um, that... Um, is true so if we were to say that on an application right here and you're probably thinking too that uh, that you know you go through you you spend a half an hour filling out that application and you want no twos toward it that's really what most companies are looking for right there is making sure that everything is accurate everything all matches up with like yeah set a password and Set a username, like, oh, yeah, you know, whenever you're filling out an application, no, it sure seems that way. That, uh, you know, number one, that, um, that why is it that, uh, the whole process seems to take at least 25%, you know, more, you know, to, it's, it's 25 times, you know, harder. And let's just say that, uh, you know, if we were to actually do that source account, that why is it that the whole process is a lot harder than what it used to be. And uh, I guess everybody say too that, uh, you know, it seems like the answer key sometimes kind of is as to where we want to make sure that you don't write the information yourself. Or if anything, that you know, anything that needs to be modified or anything, but still, that I just really think too that, uh, you know, yeah, all that is true on that application. So it's like whenever you're filling out an application, no, it's like, yeah, you know, all that is true, and then you're going to maybe have, you know, line, um, you know, have that, this, this line right up here, and let's just say that if you say something like, you know, hey, that, um, if you were to fill, I'm like, yeah, you know, take down notes, and let's just say that, uh, you know, the, the key, uh, the key factor of matter is to where that, yeah, you reviewed, um, you reviewed that, um, you know, you reviewed that session right there. Yeah, you did this already. So let's just say that, uh, you know, that's like maybe they're going to be the second thing that you're going to say. You know, I did this already. I don't know why I need to do it again. I did this already. Well, I've already read that document. You know, I've already read it four times. You know, why is it that it's not going through? So a lot of times that uh, when we think about, uh, you know, online applications, that uh, it sure seems that way, that uh, reviews at that, that section's uh, already. So if you've already read that part of the application, you know, all that is true. And uh, so that's why it sure seems that way, that, uh, that whenever we do think about an application, no, it's like, yeah, you know, is it really about the fact about that, you know, are you supposed to keep everything memorized or if it's really about the fact about being familiar with uh, how this works? And uh, most of the time, and I could be honest with everybody here too, it seems like the answer is really being familiar with how it all works. So if we were to think about that to where the, yeah, you know, reviews that section and also I can also put right here on this line right here to where... That, um, I'll put it right here. But you talk about right here, uh, knowing about, you know, any, you know, any comments I'd like to make right here is like on an application, though. That when we think about an application, though, that, uh, you probably say too that, uh, you know, after you fill out an application, that there's, uh, yeah, that there's, uh, you know, five pages included, um. You know, I don't know if everybody, you know, can read that or not. You know, five pages included. And, uh, it sure seems that way that, yeah, that, um, you know, five pages included. And, um, oh, I can, I, I know it. Uh, I'm trying to, um, trying to say it in this box right here. But, you know, yeah, five pages, yeah, five pages included. But it sure seems that way that, um, uh, when we think about um, the whole process uh, 
about um, an application right here, five, five pages included. Um, Included, uh, please read uh, very carefully. Uh, please read very carefully. So it sure seems that way that, uh, you know, why is it that, um, number one, that, uh, <laughs> Yeah, please read very carefully right there. So it's like, uh, whenever it comes to, uh, yeah, please read very carefully. I, I don't know if we can all see that right there, but like anybody say too that, uh, you know, if that was like a teeny tiny print and like uh, people may say too that why would you want to write small even? Well, you know, so that we can fit it all in one line right there. But any any notes that you want to add right there, and like anybody say that that's I mean, that's another reason why Adobe Sign right here will become handy to where if you're trying to talk to a client about something, and any notes that you want to add or anything like that, anybody say that yeah. So by the time you place those comments onto that document, and you send it by email to a client, and then they'll say is to where yeah, well, I'll be able to read your comments. You know, from the email, just by if I am able to magnetize, I'm like if I'm able to, to zoom in on the writing a little bit more. So that's how you do that right there. You go ahead and zoom in right there, just to be able to read the details like that in, in detail right there, right there. So so it's like yeah, please read it very carefully right here. So let's just say that uh, on an application, that if you're asked to read about five or maybe ten pages. Of like if it's a contract or any any source of form based on training, so if we we be talking about that, whenever it comes to uh, whenever you are hired or whenever you're going to be talking to a client or somebody that you're going to be working with, and uh, you're one o two that um, that for the most part though, that you had these applications right, and at the time you one o two that yeah, well if you write the application yourself. What does that tell everybody else? Well, that pretty much tells everybody else is toward it, uh, my feedback about what the application said. You know, like anybody says is toward you fill out so many applications. I think that I'm pretty much aware of about what most applications do say. And even if it is applying for insurance or if it's food stamps or anything important, though, I think that I would know, I would have a, a real good clue about what the applications say and what what the par portions of the applications would say. Most of them would say, please read very carefully and making sure that all your information is correct and all that is true to the best of your knowledge and if you agree or disagree upon, you know, the, the words I'm saying. And so a lot of times it sure seems that way that when we think about an application, no, that, uh, you know, yeah, that, um, you know, the first thing that comes to your mind, though, is that uh, on that, that job description, though, that, uh, yeah, you may or may not qualify for, you know, what uh, the requirements are, but half the time, it sure seems that way that, uh, you know, yeah, that uh, if you're going to be looking at an application, though, and let's just say that uh, if there's going to be an employer that's going to want to look at your work. And let's just say that if you're able to get the attention, you know, yeah. If you're able to get somebody's attention just by, you know, yeah, I can go ahead and put on here in this box right here. You know, I think that might be in big letters. I'm like, yeah, it is. Yeah, attention. So whenever people look at, and let's just say that uh, that application right there, may have nothing to do with uh, what you were applying for. Let's just, let's just say that if it was incomplete, yeah, if it was incomplete or if it was declined or any for any reason at all, that that information on the application was somehow saved. And so let's just say that, uh, that uh, somebody was able to come across, you know, the application for it was not completed. You know, it was not completed, but then, of course, that the employer or somebody is going to, say that hey you know uh, we see that your application was not completed we, we we did not receive it but still 
at the same time that we're able to collect uh, that data based on that database about you when your application to date from whenever your application was being processed and completed and so it sure seems that way that uh, the yeah when we think about an application no do we necessarily need to be thinking about this toward that somebody you know, could be monitoring I'm like yeah that somehow that application like everybody else would say too that application you wrote by yourself you know you you wrote that application it's not the application that you actually were working on it you know like yeah everybody say too that you know really whenever you were working on that application it was for practice reasons you know that's maybe there's going to be the first thing that you're going to say you were working on that just for practice reasons you weren't working on that just because that you were trying to work on something you were trying to apply for a job so like anybody else would probably say too that uh you know yeah you know how do you handle those situations to where if you're just doing that just for practice and like everybody else would probably say too that that's whenever that you should not even click the submit button you know do not do not uh, submit an application you know do not submit an application if um you know, yeah, you know, do not, um, so yeah, do not submit an application. I, I can just uh, put these, I'm like, yeah, that right there's supposed to be a, a comment right there. But let's just say that, uh, yeah, I can, uh, if I can, go ahead and put like a comment right here. And just say, do not uh, click the submit button. Yeah, submit. You do not click uh, the submit button if you're uh, filling it out, you know, just for practice or for any reason at all. That uh, if you believe that not everything is ready and not everything is completed yet, do not click that submit button. But let's just say that, you know, yeah, we don't have control over what the, the system does really, you know, nearly 25% of the time. That seems like to me, though, that whenever you're working the settings and work on the tools and everything and it sure seems that way that uh, yeah yeah you know you know anything that you're going to be working on really anything that you're going to be working on it seems like it all comes by the remembrance as to where that yeah anything that you're going to be working on that you know yeah who else that could be uh, receiving that letter who else that could be receiving your application even though that you know the purpose to why you did that is you know to you know just for practice or just to kind of just to just to get an idea for how it works but like anybody else will probably say too you were really working on this at your own time and you don't really need anybody else looking at what you're doing until for any reason at all if there's any source of common sense to war why is it that people were looking at it and that like anybody else would probably say too that uh, anything that you were working on at your own time, that why is it that uh, people would really find that very common to where, the, okay, I see, you know, what you were doing and what you were trying to do, and, you know, if you would let me know, uh, you know, what, what time you're available, and so it's like, yeah. So most of the time, you know, that uh, if we were to talk about that on the cover letter to where, that when we were thinking about that, that, uh, most of the time with most resumes, though, that um, resumes or applications or any sort of brochure in form or something like that, that um, when we're working on something, though, that it's like, yeah, you know, you were trying to get some practice with it. But let's just say that, uh, you know, what you were really trying to do is trying to piece together some information about which you can really better understand it what you're trying to tell the company what is it that you do and in order to be able to do that it seems like to me though that uh you know yeah you try to work at your own personal time just to be able to study more about what is it that needs to be done before you actually send that application in and uh, companies would probably find it real relevant to where that uh you know if they're able to come across an application that has not been yet been completed but then at the same time, you know, just be surprised at what companies tell you within the 12 hours timing or maybe within 10 days since you were working on that application that um, they'll tell you that, uh, you know, you did not submit the application, you know, but still that, uh, 
we ask you to go ahead and finish up with the application. You didn't do that. And so it sure seems that way that uh, that at the time, it's like, uh, you know, whenever we think about an application, no, that it's like, yeah, what else uh, were you looking at? And uh, so it's like uh, everybody else would say, too, that uh, whenever it comes to looking at a lot of documents, though, that uh, what is that, what, what all exactly were you looking at whenever it comes to looking at the profile and maybe looking at what I was doing? And, um, so first of all, it's like, yeah, it all starts out by saying is to where you had to be signed in, number one. So it's like, yeah, that uh, people might even say, too, that that, you know, that usually happens. Is that um, you have to be, uh, you know, yeah. I'm trying to write right here, but... Um, But, you know, I have right here, you know, can I add a comment right there? You know, yeah, you have to be signed in. So, yeah, you, you have to be signed in just to be able to, um, you know, yeah. You have to be logged in, number one, for a lot of companies, you know, maybe to realize that you're working on an application and that you were trying to submit it in, and you know, maybe if you were trying to verify and review the application, and let's just say that, uh, you know, a lot of times that that's how companies are able to tell that, that that's what you were working on, uh, you know, but you, know, you have to be signed in. But, but let's just say that uh, if you were not yet, um, yeah, you know, like anybody else would probably say too, that, uh, you know, not yet. I was not, you know, I'm like, yeah, you were signed in, or the, uh, yeah, you were trying to work on that, but still, that, uh, but you want to go ahead and maybe put like a abbreviation right there to where, yeah, not yet. You know, you know, you don't even have to put a capital right there, really, but <laughs> yeah, not yet. So if you were to say something like that, you know, what, what exactly does that mean? Sign in, not yet. <laughs> so, a lot of times, we probably thinking too that, uh, you know, uh, not yet. You know, to me though, if you were to be writing down notes like that, and you know, it, it don't really make a whole lot of sense. So, when it were thinking about an application, you know, there's going to probably be a lot of companies that would say is to word that, yeah, if you're able to open up a file and if you're able to review that information right there and want to know, well, yeah, what's that all about? You know, hey, well, what does that mean? And, uh, so it's like, you're not really supposed to be looking at that. You know, it's, it's, that's really what was supposed to be for practice. I don't know why you were looking at that and why for any purpose at all to why you thought that you would have access to that. But still, that um, like everybody else would say too, that is to where, yeah, well, you know, you had to meet uh, your candidates. So, you know, you had to meet, you know, people had to meet somehow and I guess... One of those is going to maybe be a buzz toward if you were just trying to get some practice out of something, some common sense out of something, you're probably thinking too, that hey, that, um, you know, if you were just playing a game or whichever, I'm like, oh, yeah, so, so when we think about an application, and I know, I don't, I don't mean to talk and jibber jabber and not say, not write anything here so we can all see this right here, but I'm just saying that uh, whenever it comes to applications, so, but let's just say, yeah, for the most time, you know, usernames and passwords. Usernames and passwords. And passwords. So let's just say that, um, yeah, passwords. So a lot of times it sure seems that way that uh, most applications, though, that uh, if you were to actually, you know, what's a good, you do no good at the time anyhow because of the fact about... That, uh, you know, if you do uh, wind up getting hired for the job or if you don't wind up getting hired for the job, but still, that it's like, uh, we all want to know too that uh, that uh, while you were working on something, know that almost everything that you do work on that requires any sort of username or maybe a, a profile ID or something like that. But one thing that I want to talk about right here is talking about that for you sign in, not yet, right there. So... Let's just say that if you were to be showing this uh, to an actual colleague, I mean, to a, a client, 
or somebody that you're working with for a pro I'm like, yeah, you know, it could be a project or it could be meeting up with somebody for an interview and they're going to maybe be looking at something like this and want to know too that, um, that this right here is a document right here that you put together yourself. You know, you put together at your own time and at half the time that the first question that comes to your mind is to where that does that really account over the fact about about the application process does that really count and uh, I, a lot of times it seems like that the, the answer usually is no it doesn't count but let's just say that, that well yes uh, you know i would like to look at it but no it doesn't count so a lot of times it sure seems that way that uh you know uh, people might even say too that uh you know if you don't let somebody look at something what does that usually mean uh, you know Hey, you know, I was not allowed, you know, I was not able to look at that. Let me look at it first. So some, some managers might say that to where that, you know, yeah, I would like to look at that first. You know, let me look at it. You know, let me look at it first. You know, let me look at it, you know, for, yeah, review. I guess a review, I guess, will, would be mean the same thing, you know, reviews and, uh, yeah, let, let me let me look at that document, okay? Just let me look at it. Yeah, let um, let uh, the the manager look at it. Yeah, so yeah, I know that's kind of going across the page right there, but you know, still, if we could all see that right there for what I'm doing, trying to put that right there in the box. But, you know, so, yeah, so talk about for reviews. Let the manager look at it. So, it's like, yeah, that, you know, why would you want to erase, uh, like anybody else would probably say, too, that if you're trying to erase uh, an answer to something, and a lot of times it sure seems that way, that, uh, you know, yeah, if you're going to be filling out any application or doing any sorts of uh, documentation or anything like that, and let's just say that if you change something, you know, you're probably thinking, too, if you were to update something, most applications would probably require that. You know, believe it or not, if you want to change your answers or if you want to change something on an application or if you had to change, you know, or update anything, that it seems like to me most of the time that it's going to maybe require, you know, authorization from the manager before you actually change the answer. So it's like, for the most part, though, that... Um, that, yeah, if you were actually uh, putting this together, and let's just say it's a document, you know, yeah, you know, you were actually working on something, and uh, you tell the manager that, uh, hey, that uh, that's not the that's not the the actual application. The actual application is on your website. You know, you sent me that link to complete the application online. This is not that document, and uh, so it's like, uh, yeah. So for the most part, though. That when we look at a lot of these documents, though, if you actually piece together a document and write it, an actual, you know, spreadsheet or anything, you know, PowerPoint document yourself, and just to kind of gather up data, and a 102 that is toward the, yeah, well, really, you know, you can do that and then explain what is it, that, you know, yeah, explain the information for what you came up with, and I know a lot of times, that, you know, people would say, too, is to where if you're going to go ahead and, and uh, you know, write the document yourself and put it together yourself, please explain what is it that you came up with right here. Please, please explain the data that has been had been collected. And so a lot of times it sure seems that way that um, that whenever you're filling out an application, no, that it's like, yeah, you know, you would maybe have to submit a, a cover letter explaining about is toward it between it, you know, the original file and then what was pre edited, and also about anything you'll know, use for reference or something like that. And uh, so, a lot of times, it's like, uh, you know, yeah, that uh, whenever it comes to filling out a document, though, and uh, you're likely thinking too that, uh, the hey, that, uh, you know, really, that uh, the first thing that you would maybe want to put on this box right here. You know, for like a comment is toward it. You know, yeah, you know, from, uh, you know, from talk about for work, uh, you know, history and, um, yeah, the work history or work experience. I can just say, you know, usually it's experience. 
work experience. So yeah, you know, you could put work experience, but most of the time it's work experience. And so a lot of times that, uh, you know, they're going to ask to see the experience and also, uh, you know, yeah, you know, references also, but to anybody who you know, be able to endorse you for a position or something like that. But it sure seems that way that when we're looking at an application right here and you want to know too that uh, for the most part that, uh, you know, why is it that, that for the most part that, uh, hey, that, uh, you know, you look at the, you review the information on that application right there. You know, it's not promised that you're going to get the job. You know, it's not promised, but uh, still. At the same time, that uh, when uh, we look at an application, you know, that uh, it's like, you know, what all have you learned whenever you were filling out that application? That, you know, well, it's a lot more than just four pieces of paper. I learned that the hard way because I've already gone through the application process. You know, it's a lot more than just four pieces of paper. And whenever you do fill out an application, you know, as we know, that, uh, you know, yeah, that there's information that's collected and like, you know, talk about for what's true at all times. And so it's like, whenever we think about job application, no, that, you know, it's not really about the fact about, you know, okay, if your first name is up on the top or whichever, but it sure seems that way that, um, what exactly what position that you're applying for and also the work experience but it sure seems that way that if you're if you're filling this out just for practice reasons and you want to know too is that uh you know yeah you know while you were signed in that that's how that employer was able to find out about you know the data about your application right there and uh so let's just say that um that with that application that um, people say is to where, yeah, well, I wrote it myself and I didn't think that that even counted because you see right here that not everything is all between the lines right here. So it's like, uh, you know, yeah, so if you were to actually build a, an application at your own time, just to build, build an application to where you can just, what you call, like anybody else would probably say too, that... Uh, you know, why is it that you would um, build any source of document? And, uh, you know, you would more, you know, you would probably do that just so that way you can explain your information further. And uh, I would say, I would suggest people were to do that, that you go ahead and build a document to explain what is it that you do. You know, not, you know, like, yeah, you know, and, and I know a lot of software developers, uh, you know, with most software, though, that, you know, you would explain what is it that you do. You know, explain what is it that you do. And, um, so, yeah, the way we think about that is to, yeah, explain, explain, yeah, explain what you do. So if I were to put that right there, and like anybody say too, that, you know, yeah, explain what what is it that you do? And I know what, you know, yeah, you know, what, uh, what you do. And if I were to put like a comma, you know, comma right there, you know, maybe quotations or something like that. And uh, people might even say too that, you know, if you were to, you do like a complete sentence and uh, say on the application right there. Explain it, you know, what you do. You know, to, uh, to, you know, to better understand. Um, yeah, to better understand. And so a lot of times, it sure seems that way that, um, that whenever it comes to uh, understanding job applications, though, that, uh, you know, it seems like to me that it's a lot more than just you know, uh, yeah, you know, whenever you first apply for a job, though, that, that the first thing that you were introduced to was the, in, you know, the username and the password. That was the first thing that you were first introduced to whenever you first started out application. You know, are you available to work Monday through Friday? You know, are you available for additional training or something like that? So a lot of times it's something like, yeah, you know, I can, um, 
could I uh, maybe include um, something? I know it's that's a lot of information, ain't it? But uh, you know, training. Are you available for training? Yeah, are are you available? Um, are are you available for training? So you know, for most time, though, yeah, job uh, job sites would say that you know, yeah, well, we uh, we train our employees. You know, you don't have to worry about too much about experience too much of time. You know, we do. Um, you know, what we do uh, train our employees, and uh, so it's like whenever you're filling out an application most of the time, that, uh, you know, yeah, no experience, uh, you know, some experience is required, but, you know, if there, if you don't have no experience, you know, whatsoever about, you know, yeah, if you're applying for a job, and let's just say that if you don't meet uh, all of the, the requirements to this job, that they say, that, yeah, well, you know, now, there is available training. You know, training is available. So a lot of times, it seems like to word it, uh, you know, there is no excuse to why you can't go any further with that application. To where explain in detail, why is it that you didn't go any further with that application, and uh, why is it that, that you did not answer that question right there? And so it's like, you know, whenever we think about an application right here, that uh, it seems like that, uh, you know, yeah, well. You know, what exactly do you, what, what questions do you think that are going to be asked for during that interview? And a 102, that, uh, you know, information, just making sure that everything looks all correct, but still. that. Um, but for the most of the time, though, that whenever it comes to most applications, that whenever we think about uh, applications, though, that uh, you're like thinking to where they, hey, that... Uh, that application right there, that it, it could be third party. It could also be, uh, you know, yeah, but uh, still. But uh, one, I guess the key factor matter is just to know is to where that uh, if you read the application once or twice and maybe that uh, if you understand about the rules and uh, regulations in regards to that, uh, that whenever you do uh, go to the next steps and complete an, an assessment and also uh, Whenever it comes to understanding about the, the the requirements to where that you know yeah orientation, yeah there's going to be uh, you know evaluation included and also that the, if there's going to be uh, uh you know any source of like uh you know any other source of uh to, you know uh, training sessions or you know like yeah you know meeting sessions or anything like that. So it sure seems that way that um that all about the uh, you know, the task and duties about all that needs to be done. And like everybody else would say, too, that, you know, yeah, that application, of course, is not going to explain everything. But, you know, like anybody say, you know, be, you know, between a personal pen or anything like that, that, you know, what's one key factor to remember is to remember about an application, though, is making sure that that is your activity, that, you know, that that's you doing the process. So it's like, you know, yeah, you know, if you have, if you're if you ask somebody else to complete that application, which that's okay, but as long as making sure that um, that yeah that you know making sure that that's actually you filling that out. So making sure that that you know, that that's you right there. So let's just say that if somebody say that you know, yeah you know making sure that that's you know, that's you that um, it um, is. You, you know, you or the, you know somebody else, or somebody else. Uh, if you're claiming, I'm like, yeah, it is you. So that that's really about the whole key factor matter is to remember about a lot of these applications. That it is you. It is you that is answering these questions. It is you that is uh, proceeding with uh, the process of the application and also understanding the rules and. Right, you know, like, yeah, yeah, we have the process of the application. So we don't need to think about it is to where that, uh, you know, yeah, number one, if you're going to be a student, especially if you're going to be a student filling out, and maybe if you're going to be claiming for somebody else, you know, based on service and employment or any other source of important matters, too, about that. And I can think, too, if you're going to be a student, though, and you're like a 102, 
that um, that you know, yeah, whenever you do apply for a part time position, though, know, especially you say on air that you're only available to work 15 hours a week. So a lot of times it's like, yeah, most of the time with most applications, though, that, you know, yeah, you know, why is it that for the most time, you know, you don't want to spend, you know, countless hours. You don't want to spend up to three hours per day working on an application and just knowing that all the time out of the, out of the 30 days or so that you could be doing something else, just to be able to fill out an application and just knowing that, uh, you know, uh, that uh, the whole process of the application is toward a, yeah, well, you know, really, that uh, the reason for uh, applying for that position today is just knowing that if there's time available. So let's just say if there's no time available during the week, the weeks of time, and let's just say that, you know, how do you handle that? But like everybody else would probably say, too, that, you know, really, you know, you know, most of jobs would say that, you know, you don't really have to worry about that too much of the time. That, you know, yeah, that, you know, yeah, if, um, you know, you know, that, that application, of course, uh, you know, is it, you know, is it erased? You know, if you, if you choose not to proceed with the services or if anything that, that, you know, it, it'll be kept on file, you know, for the 90 day period or something like that. It's a lot of questions that go on about most applications though and so a lot of times it sure seems that way that when we think about an application though that uh, you know people probably say too that you know I had no idea what you're talking about right here but at the same time people might even say too that uh that yeah that um when it comes to uh, understanding uh, applications though that whenever you were working on something though like I could say that yeah you know you were working on something and then, uh, I could think too that, hey, you know, that, um, what you were actually trying to do is, you know, you were trying to piece together information uh, about, um, you know, yeah, understanding. And, uh, trying to show everybody here, trying to get all that to fit in, into that line there. And, um, but, you know, still, that, uh, you just to get a better understanding about the application, right? And, um, so it's like, uh, yeah, I don't think it's all going to fit right there. But anyway, um, but I, uh, you know, I, on your hand, that, that uh, if you're going to be working on any sort of practice application, no, that, uh, you know, yeah, you know, somebody comes across, you know, something that you're working on. And let's just say that, um, that uh, you know, a good way of how to explain an application would really is uh, is mainly is to where that you're trying to get your information in the system. That's really what it's for. You know, you're not trying to, you know, like anybody says, to where that you know, are you really uh, just uh, doing it just for fun or just for any sorts of activity or you know, it's a matter like that. And uh, there are a lot of people would say too that uh, whenever you are filling out an application, a lot of times that. Uh, First of all, it's like, you know, yeah, well, you know, if the places are accepting applications, number one, but still, that uh, when we think about an application, though, that the first thing that you are going to probably be thinking about is, is that, uh, yeah, well, I've already read it once, and I don't see no reason to have to read it the second time. But people might even say, too, that, you know, if you do read it the second time or even the third time, because it's possible that there could have been updates that took place with that application. So it's like, yeah, that you know, whenever you do read an application, and it's like, yeah, you know, you know, if you filled it out once or twice, though, and uh, people might even say, too, that, uh, that you know, you're getting uh, email notifications about that job opportunity or text messages about the job opportunity, right? And the first thing that's going to come to your mind is to where, that you applied for the part-time position, and uh, this company keeps telling you, and keeps telling you about the, you know, yeah, training, and also keeps bothering you about the information that needs to be, you know, collected and also some sent in or something. So, so a lot of times it sure seems that way. That um, that uh, for the most part, that why would you want to spend so much time? Working on an application, just knowing as to where that if you're not, you know, actually hired yet for that job, 
and also that you know just like a for a pay in favor and uh that's why it sure seems that way that whenever we think about that that uh, whenever it comes to applications though that you know yeah for how important it is to be able to fill out the app application and also that maybe if it is the, maybe the census or if it's uh, anything else important that uh you're likely one oh two that yeah you know i i want to go ahead and mention also about that you know the initials because um I know, uh, like, um, people say, too, that, yeah, yeah, you would want to go ahead and put your initials somewhere on the application if you had to make a correction or something like that. But uh, still, that um, whenever you look at an application most of the time, that uh, you're probably thinking is, I'm like, yeah, do, you, do we think most of the time about certain things such as that... Um, that yeah, are you aware of uh, what the you know, like, yeah, that um, applying for the job though that um, that are you aware of uh, the license and required certifications or anything about uh, about that application? It could be about you know, yeah, if it's a uh, you know student accommodations and it could also be uh, military benefits or something like that. And, you know, you know questions about citizenship. And most of the time, that's usually what I see. Questions about citizenship that's on the application. And, it, you know, I say that most of the time it's, you know, yeah, if it's going to be, uh, you know, a digital ID or something like that, you know, for a driver's license, but still, that uh, your citizenship, talk about for citizenship. So it sure seems that way that um, when we speak about citizenship, though, that, you know, you're probably thinking is that, uh, <laughs> you know, yeah, that... Um, do we think, for the most of the time, though, that um, whenever you apply for a job, though, that uh, you're going to say, is that, yeah, well, you know, citizenship, I got the information about the citizenship, and if you are a resident, if you are a resident applying for the state, and then also that uh, if you have the, the visas, or um, like if you have the permits uh, to work in a certain field, or you know, something like that, but still, that uh, so it sure seems that way that... Um, that when we think about an application, though, that uh, it can take up to maybe a couple of hours to fill out that application just to verify that that's you filling it out. So that's why it sure seems that way. That when we first introduced to that job position, that uh, you actually filled out the application and say that you know, you're applying for this job right here, and that uh, you don't want to. You know, I'm like, yeah, you know, you didn't. You're not applying to read all this other information right here. So a lot of times, it seems like to word it, uh, yeah, if you were working at your own time on an application, and let's just say that, uh, you know, at your own time, that uh, what exactly, what is it that you were doing? Uh, and um, what exactly what uh, was I doing right here? People might even say, too, that, yeah, well, what exactly was it that you were doing? You know, you were actually reading and you you were actually going through the application and reading those paragraphs about what all that you had to do just to get uh, an understanding about, you know, the next steps. And, uh, you know, like, yeah, what is it you know, about the details about the job and then the job training? And, uh, but it's like, yeah, that uh, when, uh, the first thing that comes to your mind when you apply for a job, though, you read those job details, the job description, and also... The job request, it could be a request by somebody uh, working there, but then uh, they're, you know, they're going to come across your resume and say that, hey, that, uh, you know, uh, yeah, that um, they're going to come across your resume and say that, um, hey, you know, uh, you know, yeah, I came across your resume and I think that you would be a good fit for this position. And uh, you're probably thinking as to where, hey, you know, I didn't apply for that position in the first place i don't know why you're contacting me so it's like uh, you know yeah so really that why why is the key factor uh, about um this key responsibility and i can just use key responsibility right here and i can if i can zoom in right here and maybe right here talk about you know for key responsibility um, Yeah, just like checking out a library book. That uh, why is it that um, no, I, I, I'm trying to say responsibility.
Why is it that the key responsibility here is advised as to where that, uh, that uh, whenever you're trying to work on something and it seems like that the gears change just a little bit toward that the direction to where the between the position that you're applying for compared to that you know, what's really recommended to apply for. So you had these, uh, you know, these keys. I'm like, yeah, yeah, talk about that. Uh, you know, these key tags, so I'm like, oh, yeah, hashtag, if you want to kind of call them, maybe a little bit hashtags or something like that. You know, what's really recommended compared to what's required. So, like, you know, anybody say, too, that um, whenever you fill out an application, a lot of times it seems like, you know, yeah, what's the key responsibility here is to where the, yeah, you know, just to kind of read the information carefully and just to kind of be aware is that whenever you're filling out an application online, that there's going to be, uh, you know, these uh, keys. I'm like, oh, yeah, if you want to kind of call them as to where that, uh, you know, uh, another uh, t another type of uh, markup language for that. And uh, your constant values or something like that. I'm like, yeah, they, your attributes or something like that uh, for what they call you know, for the HTML studies. And uh, to where you actually, um, you know, if you're going to be filling out an application from your computer and uh, there's going to be what you call these uh, suggested key values. They're going to be used, and uh, so that's why it sure seems that way. That uh, whenever we can't think about key responsibility here, whenever it comes to an application, and you're like it thinking too that uh, you know, whenever you're working on an application, you no, know, that uh, it's like yeah, you know that's not what you're trying to do, and uh, so it's like most of the time whenever you do look at an application, you no, know, that it's like you know really, you know you're you. Know, what you're trying to do is you're trying to speak for your own mind for what you're trying to apply for, right? You know, we're not talking about you know, to where, okay, you know, hashtag, you know, I recommend you go ahead and try this. Or, you know, yeah, that, you know, there's going to be maybe a box right here on the right that's going to ask you to check here, you know, to where if you agree to, uh, to contact this department right here for more information about that. Or there could be what you call a box right here on the bottom that's going to maybe ask you to you know, to mark an X right here to if you agree to the terms of the use of the so 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 yeah that um so an application can be explained in a lot of ways right we're not talking about just for jobs we're also talking about getting your information out there you know, even from your insurance company you know yeah you know it could be for maybe for verification purposes based on you know the service of uh, the state verification purposes or something like that you know, yeah you know based on you know citizenship or something like that so it, it could be explained a lot of ways so um, i guess one thing to key you know one key factor remember just just to remember just knowing is to where that yeah that anything important though is that uh that, you know, really, that, you know, really, you know, whenever we think about our name and thinking about an application, no, it sure seems that way to where that, you know, whenever you're filling out an application, and let's just say if it's just for practice reasons, so, is that you are really, you're trying to get somewhere with that. And in order to be able to get somewhere with that, this key responsibility, it sure seems that way to where how to handle the information properly. And if it's going to be a tax return or if it's anything else important that, um, you know, how you handle that. And uh, people might even say, too, that, uh, you know, how you handle that is really is toward the coordinating with uh, the companies and the offices and where, where those applications are going, you know, for how it's received and where, where they're going. And uh, so that's why it sure seems that way that uh, when we think about an application, no, that for the most part, that you know, maybe you do or maybe you don't know where it's going. And uh, that's why everybody else say, would say too that uh, based on their experience, that hey, you know, I don't know where it's going, but I'm just responding to that email address. So let's just say that if it's going to be at uh, your know, application server or if anything, yeah, to the server or for where it's going or any source of return, you know, they'll tell you for exactly where it's going. And, uh, so yeah, you know, so those those are just a sort of remember, but um, I know that's a lot of information right there. But you know, anyway, uh, but that right there is an example right there of uh, another way. I'm like, yeah, you know, for whatever reason, it's going to remind me a little bit more of uh, something like a like a cover letter. You know, not really a, an application, but a cover letter. But uh, 
the way I'm looking at it right here, and uh, people might even say too that yeah, that there's gonna be, uh, you know, on this uh, example right here of this document that uh, there's a lot of zigzag going on, and where that a lot of texts are not placed properly, and uh, that's why it sure seems that way. That when we look at that, that uh, you know, yeah, you know, if everything is all cleared and verified, and let's just say that people might even say too that. Uh, you know, not everything has been confirmed, but most of the time, the answer is usually that, you know, give it up to 48 hours to process, and then, uh, you know, the manager will go ahead and, and clarify some information. So it, se it seems like to me, though, like anybody would say, too, yeah, just click anywhere on that document. <laughs> click anywhere on that document and add in maybe a few hashtags or something like that, and 102 if it's going to be accepted or not. And people will say, that, yeah, you know, you go ahead and put your initials like that right there. And like anybody say, you know, for, yeah, you know, how far a name goes, even uh, even though, you know, if your name is, so yeah. So this, um, if you use a, this Adobe sign before, that this comment right here is going to show up. You know, how far your name goes, even the even those, you know, if your name was used. And I can go and show everybody here, you know, yeah, if, it, if your name, your name is correct. And, uh. So let's just say that if you were to add in a few comments right there on that document and that maybe that somehow that somebody approaches somebody else's attention and let's just say that uh, people will say is to where, you know, what are the signs of weaknesses about that document that maybe that managers would find is to where that, yeah, you don't have to worry about filling out the, the application, okay? We, we would actually like to discuss that. At uh, the interview, actually, we would like to talk about that at the interview. So if you do wind up getting a call back about that, and like anybody say too, that, um, you know, yeah, that it seems like it's all about, you know, getting the managers to take interest in uh, what the, the, the hiring position is for. So a lot of times it sure seems that way that uh, whenever we think about, um, you know, most uh, applications, though, that, uh, you know, yeah, for good luck to you, you know, just uh, if you're applying for the job. But at the same time, though, it sure seems that way that, uh, that you know, yeah, that was not meant to be. You know, I was working on that just for practice. It was not for that reason. Just uh, it's not the, the real thing. But like everybody else will probably say too, just be surprised. OK, but anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. You know, yeah, you may never know what you come up with. You know, you may never know uh, what you get, and you may never know uh, who's going to be willing to uh, give you uh, an opportunity, right? But anyway, uh, to talk about flexibility on the application, right? But anyway, thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day.